Welcome everyone to Liberal Agencies Television. I hope this video finds you well in your location across the globe. The team for Azmio is ready and they are going to present it tomorrow during their NDC. And even the Kwanzaa coalition will now have no option but to constitute their steam the way it is so that we can now move forward. And like we had said before in this channel, there are going to be only two horses. There is no third horse that's going to, be, to worry anybody. The forces are two, the teams are two. That's how it's going to be. Uh, it has been a very busy week and a very political week. That's why we've just focused on politics, politics this week. It started with the DP NDC, Justin Muturi and the team, where he was endorsed to run for president. Then we saw the Sagana happening. Then yesterday we saw UDP of Saras Girongo, where he was uh, endorsed to go and run for governor for Kakamega. And also yesterday we saw the PNU NDC, also happened yesterday, where they endorsed. In fact, for them yesterday they just uh, passed that they are supporting Azimio. They already passed that, that they are, that is their resolution. And they proposed that Munya, who is the party leader, be considered for the position of deputy or the running mate. Today, there is a Jubilee NDC that is happening. And they are saying that the NDC will happen for two days, 25th, today and tomorrow. But tomorrow there is ODM NDC. So you see, this week has just been too occupied, too busy, as far as the Azimio side is concerned. All these people I'm just, I've mentioned are just uh, putting them together as, as, as Azimio team. And today, ahead of tomorrow's NDC, ODM's next, meet, next, uh, next having, uh, they're having a meeting today in Karen, ahead of tomorrow's NDC. So it's just been strategizing this whole week. That's why we cannot ignore, but continue just speaking about politics when uh, the season is here. So I want us in this video to focus on tomorrow's ODM NDC. That's what we want to talk about, we want to discuss in this video today. And before we proceed, I just want to allow our new viewers, those who have just bumped into this channel today, to kindly press the subscription button and also the notification bell. Please kindly subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Well, tomorrow is going to be the climax of the realignments that we have been seeing in the political space. Like, just like we've been seeing in all these NDCs when they're happening, the delegates usually endorse their party leaders and release them to the country now to go and campaign and give them their backing. So that is what's number one thing that's going to happen in tomorrow's ODM 
NDC. They are going to endorse the Right Honorable Prime Minister to go and carry the flag. They are going to set him free and give him their backing. You know, the only person who was opposing, the only ODM member who was opposing, who came out to oppose uh, the candidature of the Prime Minister was Jimmy Wanjigi. And uh, he rushed to court to try and block the NDC or just to try to uh, allow maybe a nomination to happen tomorrow. But he made mistakes and rushed to court before uh, exhausting the party mechanisms that are set, their resolution mechanisms. And the court just nullified his uh, case, his application. So there's no case for him, and the NDC will go on. And even the ODM uh, team have now barred him from even, I mean, being present or coming. But anyway, even if there was no case, he wasn't going to, to attend. Because on that occasion, it's only the delegates that are, you know, invited. Only delegates, not members of the party or supporters. But for Jimmy, he had thought that being uh, someone who had shown interest in the presidential election, he automatically could become a delegate, but not qualify to become a delegate. There are qualifications. One of them being you have to be an elected uh, member or mem uh, elected uh, in, a, in any position, maybe MCA, MP, governor, senator. Those are one of the qualifications that makes you become a delegate. So Jimmy is not a delegate and he's not going to be there. And the delegates who are going to be there, the number one agenda is going to be the same as all these other indices that we've seen uh, endorsing their party leaders. Secondly, in the NDC tomorrow of ODM, we are going to see all the faces that support Azimio, all the parties that support Azimio, they are going to be there, all of them. It's going to be like a display. And they are going to unveil their team tomorrow. And uh, some of the people I can give you clues that are going to be there. Of course, we've now heard that uh, PNU have already declared they're supporting uh, Azimio. But the only hidden thing that I can read is the Oka team. The Oka team has now reached a place where now it has to now uh, start working together formally with Azimio. And they are going to come tomorrow in ODM's NDC. I want to write down that for you. And I think they are going to announce, yeah, they are going to announce that going forward, they are working together with Azimio. That is something that I can read and I can really wait for that tomorrow to see. Because I don't see now again Oka beyond this this week continuing to, to campaign separately. They are going to come together and join Azimio officially and start moving forward as one team. Because of late I've had the tones of even uh, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka and Honorable Gideon, also Honorable Jirongo to yesterday in the NDC, the way he spoke and the tone, you could see that they have uh, reached a, a deal and they are ready now to work together.
So there's no wasting time. Tomorrow in the ODM's NDC, they're going to come and they're going to hold hands and announce that they are now one team. That is going to happen in tomorrow's NDC. And finally, what I'm wondering, why is it that Jubilee's NDC is going for two days? You know, they're holding their NDC today. It's happening at KICC. And then again tomorrow, the, the same NDC is going on again at KCC. And tomorrow, ODM is also having their NDC at Kasarani. Hmm? Why are they combining this thing? I think there is something here. So, so from my own observation, the reason why Jubilee is extending their NDC to 26th so that they can uh, be happening at the same time, the one at Kasarani and the one at KICC. These, these people, these teams, want to do something together. And I have a feeling that tomorrow, in the second day of Jubilee's NDC, there's a way they are going to meet somewhere and perform some uh, deal with Azimio or with ODM. After ODM have already held their meeting, NDC and Jubilee is already also doing their meeting at KSC the second day, they are going to now find a way to meet and merge also. After the other people at Kasarani who have formed the team of Azimio, Jubilee will join them. And there's something that looks like it could happen, but it also looks a bit early. I don't see anything stopping the Azimio team announcing their running mate tomorrow. I know, you know. Nothing stops them because I know the team is complete. The team has been set. And that is something that I want to look very keenly on tomorrow. It may just happen. Because I don't see the reason why Jubilee is holding the NDC for two days. Maybe there's something big that is going to be announced on the second day. Also, when ODM's NDC is happening, maybe they're going to meet and seal a deal and blend. And that could produce a running mate. So that is the climax of that event. That's how I'm looking at it. Unless they just say it's a bit early, but there's a possibility. But for Team Oka, they are going to join Azmio tomorrow. That one, I just want to say that you can just go and take to the bank. So that now the campaigns or the teams can now start facing the ground now. You saw recent, just the other day, after the Sagana meeting, now the stage has been set. It is now bare. No, there's no, no turning back or no joking. The president was very clear, just the way I've always urged him to become. Instead of send, just sending signals, just come out and speak your mind clearly to the population, to the grassroots, so that the grassroots can make informed decision. And that is what he did. He did not disappoint. And those are signals that the deal is now complete. Maybe you can also comment and give your opinion on that running mate issue. What do you think? Do you think they can? They are going to in unveil their running mate tomorrow? Like I think, or you have an, a, a, a different opinion? So that we can try and see. But for me, that's my take. The team 
for as Mio is going to unveil tomorrow at the ODM NDC. So that all these things can end and people can now start moving forward. That's it. Just wanted to say that as we now wait and see the things that will happen tomorrow moving forward. So up to that point, I just want to take this opportunity to thank our uh, viewers and our subscribers for supporting us and continuing to stand with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God's blessing. Thank you.